Hey guys, it is officially countdown one day until the new year, 2020. So I thought this would be the perfect time to put up a new video that is all about a plan with me, showing you guys how I plan out my month. I do it always at the start of the month. This way I can get everything kind of organized, settled. I have, as you see, a large calendar here that I like to first start off getting that all cleaned off from the previous month. And then I will go into my actual daily planner that I carry along with me. So since it's a new year, I'm going to start with totally new inserts for my planner. I love using a smaller binder planner, one, because I can store it really easily to travel along with me. And then secondly, I can kind of change things out, customize the inside to whatever I like, because I tend to get a little bored if it's going to be the same thing over and over. So you're going to see I'm going to remove the old stuff, and then we're going to be putting in all the new inserts that I purchased for this year. Once I am done adding the new inserts, I'm just going to kind of give you an overview of the things that I keep at my desk easily handy and that I use whenever doing any of my planning. So I like to have planner stickers, same thing, this kind of adds some nice color, easy visuals, and just kind of switches things up when planning. It makes it a lot funner. This way you get all your things done. This is kind of like a get it all done, tackle your to-do list, and all that good stuff when you have everything nicely organized, especially like I said, in this travel size planner. So the first thing that I like to do is actually have just a standard notebook. This is going to be how I jot down all of my video ideas. Depending on the lifestyle that you have, this would of course change if you have different goals you want to set each month, if you have different tasks that you like to accomplish each month. It's kind of like a brain dump. You're just going to place it on a notebook and kind of put it all down. This way when I'm writing in my daily planner, I like to really specify what videos I'm going to be filming for what particular days, what videos need to be edited on certain dates. So when I do this, it just kind of makes it a lot easier when I go into my actual planner to fill out. So just any lined notebook will do. Next, going into the daily planner, I'll first start off with marking any important birthdays that I like. In the beginning right there, it has a nice section. And then this is just a non-dated planner. So I go ahead and I fill in. I look at the calendar on my phone and I'll go ahead and date everything based on the particular day of the week that it is for that month. And then I can go ahead and get started and start filling in any really important dates, any type of filming days, editing days, and any daily tasks that I need to, of course, remember. Like I said, I do this at the end of the month, but I update it daily based on different things that come up, different appointments that I'll make throughout the month. This is just to give me a general idea and kind of have everything laid out specifically for when I'm filming. If I do this, it keeps me a lot more organized and geared up for the new year.
as you can see here i just like to have two different sticker books same thing it gives me variety it kind of helps me switch things up and once i've jotted down the things that i need to have in my planner that is when i'll go back and i'll kind of place stickers throughout the planner whether it be like a filming day or i even have stickers here as you can see that are marked like appointment travel days phone calls that i may need to make bills that i need to pay and all that good stuff they even have like laundry grocery shopping all that good stuff that us as like you know moms and all of that that we have to tackle as well so I like to also add that on here and I'm just jotting it down once again I'm just going to show you the process just a week's worth because I didn't want it to be too lengthy of a video you guys generally get the idea just for you to be able to have kind of an outline to follow if you really need something to get your 2020 year started and feel like keeping you the most organized and accomplishing all of those daily goals and at tackling things off your to-do list Once the month of January is all filled out, I then will go on to the side portion, which you can see are just pockets here. I like to add additional stickers, some paper clips. I have one right at the top because that is going to basically hold the place of what date and week we're in for that particular month. And then I just add a couple of little things kind of just to make it a little bit cuter on that side. Once again, for visual, I want to show you guys the back of my planner. I always have these folder inserts. I have these little tabs that I add and then the back zipper, I always like to keep some receipts that I need to save and then at the end of the month I like to sort through to see what needs to be um, added for like tax records or what I can just go totally dump now we're going to move on to my big calendar board since I'm done with the daily planning and like I said that one I grab for every single day I also like to have a very large calendar at my desk this makes it really easy if I just need to see something quickly this room is right beside my bedroom so I'll go ahead and mark the new month that we're starting with. Every month I, of course, refresh it. I'll date it since this is a blank um, date, non-dated calendar as well. And this is just dry erase marker. So anything that I need to remove, change out, it's very easy to do. For this, I just like to keep some really easy, like big tasks on there. And then on the sides, I will also go ahead and put like my daily to-do list that I have to tackle for that particular day. As you can see here, just a lot of the things, it basically like every Tuesday I like to film, every Sunday we go to church, that I just went right down the calendar. It's a lot easier and quicker to fill it out for you guys that do something on a weekly basis that you want to always have marked on your calendar to see an easy visual. And then on the side, it does have a little note section that I usually just mark one through 10. I put to-do list and that will be something that I just do daily. I'll wipe it clean and add new tasks that I have to tackle. At least I want to say I give myself 10, nothing more than that, <laughs> that I need to definitely tackle throughout the day. This now completes my plan with me for 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this gets you motivated for the new year, fresh start, all organized and planning. And I will talk to you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.